Good day, you all. Welcome to Business and Finance here at Equa Television International. I am Rachel Tanzi. Thank you for joining me today. Now, we have reports coming in concerning the FAAC allocation for the month of September. We are looking at 1.298 trillion naira, approximately 1.3 trillion naira for the month of September. Now we are going to look at precisely what the federal government, the state government and the local government uh, received and we are going to see what levy did well. We are going to look at if the statutory income increased or reduced. We are going to look at the electronic money transfer levy which did the best for the month of September and then which did not perform well as expected in the month of September. Now according to the statement by the press and public affairs in the office of the accountant general Bawa Mokwa the 1.298 trillion naira total distributable revenue comprised distributable statutory revenue of 124.716 billion naira Distrib distributable value added tax we are looking at revenue of 443 0.518 billion and electronic money transfer levy revenue of 18.445 billion um, naira exchange difference revenue of 462.191 billion naira and augmentation of 150 billion naira now, a communique issued by the Federation Account um, Allocation Committee indicated that total revenue of 2.258 trillion naira was available in the month of September 2024. Total deduction for cost of collection was 80.993 billion naira, while total transfers interventions and reforms was 878.946 billion. Now, according to the communique, gross statutory revenue of 1.043 trillion naira was received for the month of September 2024. This was lower than the sum of 1.1221 trillion naira received in the month of August 2024. So we're looking at a difference of about 177.426 billion naira. Now, let's look at this income one after the other. Now, gross revenue of 583.675 billion was available from the value added tax in September 2024. Now, this was higher than 573.341 billion naira available in the month of August. So we can see a difference from what was gotten in August as against September. We're seeing a difference of about 10.334 billion naira. The communique stated that from the 1.298 trillion naira total distributable revenue, the federal government received total sum of 424.867 billion naira. Now we have the state government receiving a sum of 443, um, 453 rather, 0.724 billion naira. The local government councils received total sum of 329.864 billion naira and a total sum of 90.415 billion naira. That is a 13% of mineral revenue. This was what was shared to the federal government, local government and state government. On the 124.716 billion naira distributable statutory revenue, the communique stated that the federal government received 43.037 billion and the state government received 21.29 um, billion. Then the local government councils received 16.829 billion naira and the sum of 43.021 billion naira. 13% of mineral revenue was shared to the benefiting state as derivation revenue. That is precisely the oil producing state in the country. From the 543.518 billion distributable value added tax, we have seen 
what the state government, the local government, and the federal government have, has received when it came to the distributable statutory revenue. Now we are going to look at the value added tax, the distributable value added tax of 543 billion. Now the federal government got 81.523 billion naira out of the 543. Governor, um, state government received 271 billion naira. Local government councils received 190.231 billion. Now, 2.767 billion naira was received by the federal government from the 18.445 billion naira electronic money transfer levy. Now, the state got 9.222 billion out of the 18.44 billion um, um, naira for the electronic money transfer levy, and we have local government getting 6.456 billion out of the electronic money transfer levy now from the exchange difference revenue we um the communics uh, the communique stated that the federal government received 218.515 billion naira and the state government received 110.834 billion naira the local government councils received 85.448 billion naira while the sum of 47 0.394 billion um, naira was received um, among benefiting states as derivation revenue. Now, the federal government received 79.020 billion naira, the state government received 40.080 billion naira, and the local government council received 30.900 billion naira from the 150. Um, billion rare augmentation. So we have augmentation coming into the FAAC allocation for the month of September. In September 2024, we are seeing that oil and gas royalty, excise duty, electronic money transfer levy, and CET levies increase um, um, considerably while value added tax and import duty increase marginally. Petroleum Profit Tax, the PPT, Companies Income Tax, CIT, and others recorded significant decrease. So we are seeing that royalties are performing better, excise duty, electronic money transfer levies is doing better, and then we are seeing that the CET is doing just marginal, meaning it didn't increase, it didn't decrease, it just stayed at the same point. Also, same for the value added tax, and we are seeing that petroleum profit tax has gone down. We are seeing companies' income tax going down, and we are also seeing a um, significant decrease in other tax apart from the ones that are doing well. It is no big news that we are having our Naira underperforming and we have seen reports statistics out there ranking the naira as one of the worst performing currency and if we're to be ranked we are among the top 10 currencies that should have been doing better but it's not performing well due to how it has been fluctuating so far in the market and we are seeing us reaching our new low or we can call it high as against um, the dollar in the exchange market now, we are seeing that the Naira has plummeted to a new record low, closing in at 1,070 and 1,700 Naira to a dollar in the parallel market. This is the report so far so good for the month of October 2024. We are having this coming from the Beru Change operatives. Now, this represents a 0.29 drop from its previous rate of 1%. 1,695 naira to a dollar uh, as recorded in uh, as, as recorded in the finishing or rather at the start of the second week of the month of October now and in the second week of October we are seeing it going as high as 1,700 to a dollar while the Naira weekend in the parallel market it remained relatively stable in the investors and exporter window closing at 1,641 Naira to a dollar. However, this still marks a 1.14% depreciation from its previous rate. 
despite it being stable, we are seeing that it was doing better relatively before the, um, the second week of October, where it was closing it at 1,622 Naira to a dollar. But for the week where it was reaching 1,700 at the parallel market, now our current official market, which is the import and export window, it was closing it at 1,641. Despite the official market doing way better than the unofficial market, the parallel market or the black market as we would like to refer to it or the rooted chain, we are seeing that still the Naira is not gaining its value. It might just function or perform better on different market windows, but it is still plummeting and going low. From 1,622 at the official market, it is now down to 1,641. So we are still seeing a decrease of 1.14%. And we might set there's hopes up for the currency, but the difference is that it is going down slower in the official market and it's moving down faster in the unofficial market. Now, in a bid for recapitalizations, we have seen that different banks have come up with different plans to be able to raise the capital um, for um, recapitalization going on um, by the Central Bank of Nigeria, where we are seeing banks now, if you are trading internationally, if you're functioning international and locally, you are to come up with 500 billion naira because now um, the um, the and the Central Bank of Nigeria want to reach a, a one trillion naira capitalization benchmark, and of course we know that these different banks have to do well or they fear um, the possibility of being merged or losing its um, and power in the, in the financial market and all of that. So we are seeing that the First Bank Nigerian holding have increased its rights issue to 25 Naira per share. Now this is in a bid to be able to raise about 350 billion Naira. Now, in a notice to the Nigerian Exchange Limit for approval, the First Bank Nigerian Holding PLC has revised its proposed rights issue to 5,982,548,000 uh, ordinary shares of 50 Kobo each at 25 Naira per share as against the previous proposed offer of 8,973,823,198 ordinary shares at 15 um, Naira and uh, 50 Kobo per share. So we are seeing an increase of over 9 Naira 50 Kobo. Now, the new rights issued is structured on the basis of one new ordinary share for every six ordinary shares held with a qualification date of this uh, 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 of October 18. So we are seeing that the date has passed. However, these have been revised for the month of October. And that is where First Bank Holdings stands as it is now for their rights issues. Now, this came after the original offer was suspended reportedly following a court injunction sought by an aggrieved shareholder. Despite this legal roadblock, FBN Holdings appears to have received the green light to proceed with its strategic plans. And you can see that there is no brake light so far. Um, uh, First Bank Nigerian Holdings have increased what um, the price of um, the ordinary share will be. We are looking at it going from 50 Naira and um, 50 Kobo to 25 Naira. Now, they will have a forthcoming general um, meeting, annual general meeting. And in that meeting, they are seeking shareholders approval for a 350 billionaire capital raise according to the notice received. Now the capital raise is expected to strengthen FBN Holdings financial position and enable the group to fund strategic growth initiative across its business unit. But above all, to be able to reach the benchmark put in place by the Central Bank of Nigeria in its recapitalization bid. Now we are seeing that a lot is going on in the Nigerian exchange market and we are seeing that foreign investors are dumping their stocks because 
of the period. Now we're looking at over Oh, about 355 billion naira worth of stocks we are seeing investors not holding, not keeping, because we are at the period where not much is expected. So rather than to lose, they rather just dump it or rather sell it, whether with profit, interest or not. Now we are seeing that um, foreign investors sold off about 355.74 billion naira worth of stocks in the exchange market within the first eight months of the year 2024. Now this data was received exclusively from the NGX. Now, according to the August Domestic and Foreign Portfolio Investment Report of the Nigerian Exchange Limited, foreign outflows from the market exceeded inflows by about 56.01 um, billion naira. For the period over review, total foreign transactions stood at 655.47 billion naira, which was about 194.22% higher than the 222.78 billion naira recorded by the same period last year. Now, sales of by foreign investor were at their highest in April at 78.25 billion. So, if only at the month of April we are having um, um, in foreign investors already selling off stocks of about 78.25 billion uh, naira, that is just for the month of April. Now, you can count down um, some months later down to August, we are seeing them selling off over 355 billion naira stocks. Now, the reasons behind this kind of dumping coming from foreign investors is mostly as a result of our unstable NARAM and high interest rate environment, making investors abandon the equity market, hiking the interest rate, which is also one of the major causes, um, and financial, it causes financial um, assets to migrate away from the capital market. And we have seen that despite a little stability in our inflation for two consecutive months, we saw that at the last NPC meeting, the NPR was increased. And then we are seeing that continuously, so far so good, in the more in the for the uh, financial year of 2024 starting from the first uh, second the third quarter of the year we are seeing a continuous increase in the interest rate now this makes the environment unfavorable for foreign investors and therefore one of the major reasons why they are dumping their equities and then also we are seeing that well we just checked what the Naira is currently as against um, the dollar. We're looking at 1,700 at the parallel market and then at the official market, going from a good position of 1,622 Naira to 1,641 Naira as against the dollar. So this uncertainty and instability in our foreign exchange market is making investors question their uh, uh, um, stocks, question their investment and wondering if they can hold, stay or leave. And we are seeing so far so good, we have more investors dumping their stock, therefore not holding, leaving and might not come back. But we are seeing the federal government doing a lot of things to woo investors into the country. And we hope that certain reforms and policies and the tightening monetary policies put in place by the Central Bank of Nigeria will eventually give birth to a favorable environment where we can see a stable um, currency as against the dollar and then also a, 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 a marginalized um, um, interest rate where it's not going high, it's not going high, but we can see it's stable for a period of time. Thank you for staying with me to the end of business and finance. Till I come your way next week, goodbye.